going to show you how to put the front end loader on this little Kubota tractor. to pull in as straight as, as possible. I just look at the way the loader arms are looking here and I like to line up with, line my hood up with them. Make sure I'm at the same angle, not coming in a little bit cockeyed. And then I pull up until I see the hydraulic lines will reach the connection points and the connection points aren't behind the loader arm because it makes it harder if you're trying to work between the hood of the tractor and the loader arm to make those connections. Now that I'm there, I'm just going to shut down the tractor. And the reason I'm shutting down the tractor is I want the hydraulic pump off. The front loader isn't as critical as a backhoe is because it doesn't have constant pressure. But if this lever were to move, then you get hydraulic pressure on those connections and they're going to spray as you're trying to connect them. All right. I like to just start with one end and work the other way. So I'm gonna start with yellow since it's a little bit tighter to reach. We'll get that one before we get all these in the way. There's yellow. Now it's red. This one has faded a bit. You can see it used to be more red than that. That one has a little pressure on that line so I had to shove a little harder to make that connection. And now this is blue. You're gonna lose a little bit of hydraulic fluid as you're doing that, that's totally natural. So make sure you have a rag handy. And then of course at your service intervals, make sure you're checking your hydraulic fluid. Check your dipstick whenever you need to, top it off as necessary, change it at service intervals, all that good stuff. All right. I like to clean up this area a little bit because hydraulic oil attracts dirt and keeps it hanging around. And if you get dirt in these fittings, they're much harder to use to pull back the collars on them and all that. So by keeping them clean, you are saving yourself time and frustration. Great. Now I like to make sure you can clip these together. Sometimes they'll stay, sometimes they won't. Uh, these ones are doing all right. But sometimes as they get old, they just don't like to stay together anymore. That one's just barely hanging together. All right, now the goal is, is this pin right here will land in this saddle. And then we got to line up this hole in this pin so that that slides through. On a small tractor like this, you can do all of that from on the seat, which is nice if you have long arms. And I'll show you how you do that next. All right, we're going to start up the tractor again. And then I raise the RPM so that I have good hydraulic pressure. That way when I'm moving the lever, I get instant response from the loader. And now remember you're tethered to this, so don't go backing up or anything. And again, you don't need to be fast. You need to be accurate on this. So I'm going to bring those saddles in and I'm watching both sides. Just really nice and slow and accurate is what I want. Okay, now we're gonna teeter this loader over our foot. So remember, if you want the back to come down, you can roll the bucket down. And that'll push down on that end, and, or push up on that end rather than push this end down. So I'm gonna roll the bucket into a dump position. And you watch that pin come right down, right where we want it. All right, bring it back. And now I'm going to raise or raise the loader just a little bit to rock it out. Again, on this step right here, the goal is not to be fast, it's just to be accurate. And so I'm just moving that a little bit to get it where I want it. Okay, that's looking pretty close. Let me try the pin. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Now you want to make sure that drops in there. It keeps the pin from backing out of the hole. See, it can't back out if that's there. Now I'm going to do the other side. All right. Sometimes you'll have to wiggle the loader to get the other side in. And it looks like I do need to. 
Hooking off on level ground, though, is very helpful for this because they'll be really close. Sometimes they'll be right on. Now that I've got the pins in, I'll raise the loader up and then I will retract the support leg that you pulled down to hold the loader. Now you pull out this pin here, and then you have to pull the whole leg this way, just like that, and then it will pivot up. It'll come right, this pin will come right through here automatically, and all you have to do is put your key through there. And that's how you hook a loader onto a small Kubota tractor.